Mr. Speaker, he, he, he quotes for us Article 2562 of the Constitution, which reads, the President may, in consultation with the Minister of State for a region, the President may, in consultation with the Minister of State for a region and with the prior approval of Parliament, appoint for the region a Deputy Minister or Deputy Ministers to perform such functions as the President may determine. Speaker, the Minority Leader also quoted for us Article 79 of the Constitution. First of all, there is a world of difference between Article 71, 79 and 2562. Whereas Article 2562 uses the definite article there, in, two, in Article 79.1, there is an indefinite article that is used. The two cannot be the same. The two cannot mean the same. But coming back to Article 2562, the President may, in consultation with the Minister of State for a region, and with the prior approval of Parliament, appoint for the region a deputy minister or deputy ministers to perform such functions as the president may determine. What it means is that the president may elect to appoint a deputy minister for a region. He may or may not appoint a deputy minister. If he decides to appoint a deputy minister, he must consult the minister of state. The question to ask is whether the president consulted the minister of state. Who was the Minister of State at the time? The Minister of State at the time was the Honorable Ansu Chireme. Asuma Chireme. The minority leader seems to draw us to the path as if the President ought to have consulted the, the Honorable Evans Opokububie, who is not yet the substantive minister. The President could not have consulted him. The president could not have consulted him because at the time he was not the substantive minister. The substantive minister was the Honorable Asuma Chireme. And the president indeed consulted him. The letter that he quotes for us is dated 24th August. The letter the minority leader quotes for us is dated 24th August. Now, on record, the pres I'm aware that the president engaged in consultation with the minister. Good record. <laughs> Can I finish? I did, I did not interfere when we were making your, your, your points eloquently, even though I disagreed with you. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, the President did consult the Honorable Asuma Chireme. On the 8th of August, on the 8th of August, you correct that the announcement for the ministerial um, nomination came on the 9th of August. And further to that, further to that, on the 15th of August, and I have the record here, on the 15th of August, the, 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 the office of the president then wrote to really confirm this and requested the minister to continue in possession and hand over on the 20th of August. Mr. Chairman, the, the letter is here. The letter is here.